Hello, and welcome to our first Parent Academy for families of students enrolled in the Advanced Placement Program. My name is Tyrone Bird, and I am the Director of Secondary Education for Arlington Public Schools. The purpose of this presentation is to provide you with an overview of the expectations and resources available for the 2020-21 school year. Please know that this is the beginning of an ongoing conversation and that we will be continually providing updated information as circumstances change. In addition to these academy presentations, each school is prepared to provide timely and accurate information and I encourage you to reach out to your school as the year progresses. I will be offering contact information at the end of this session. Arlington Public Schools will work closely with the College Board to provide our students with the instructional challenges and ongoing academic and social support they need to be prepared for successful learning experiences, regardless of the instructional model we use. As you will see in this presentation, the College Board has provided our students and teachers with a wide range of instructional supports designed to promote successful completion of their AP course and the associated exams scheduled for May 2021. The College Board is preparing for in-school exams in May of 2021 as a way to maximize access and opportunity for all students. This is, of course, if conditions allow at that time. It is important to note that unlike the AP exams administered last year, which assessed students on 75% of their traditional core content, AP exams taken in May of 2021 will assess students on 100% of the core content. Information regarding these exams can be found on AP Central. If we are not able to fully access our school buildings in May of 2021, we will work with the College Board to establish two testing dates to provide space for social distancing. We will also be prepared for the possibility that we will not be able to return to our buildings at all. If this is not possible, AP, S, and the College Board will work together to develop contingency plans for exams. The remaining slides will provide you with an overview of the resources the College Board has developed to support teaching and learning in each of the three possible instructional models we might engage during the 2020-21 school year. While we will begin our year in a, the full distance model, we are prepared to move to hybrid or full in-person should our circumstances change. As mentioned at the onset of this presentation, the College Board has prepared resources for our students and teachers to access this school year designed to promote success in either of the instructional models we may use throughout the school year. The left column of this chart addresses the teaching and learning cycle. As you can see, teachers will be able to plan, teach, practice, assess, collect and provide feedback and prepare students for culminating AP exams in either of the learning models, in-person, hybrid or blended, or online. This slide provides an overview of teaching practices and student resources. The blue items are the teacher-directed components of the learning cycle and the items in the black represent the resources available to students. While there may be nuanced differences in how teachers utilize these instructional resources, students will have access to each resource regardless of our instructional models. Unit guides help AP teachers sequence and pace course content and skills so that their students have enough repetition of practice engaging with skills of increasing complexity. These documents will be available to students online. AP daily videos supplement direct instruction with short targeted videos that support content and skill development for each topic within a unit. These videos may be assigned by teachers or observed independently by students to strengthen their understanding of core concepts and content. 
Topic questions provide students with practice applying the content and skills for each topic within a unit, enabling teachers to check for understanding early and often to inform individual and class level supports. Personal progress checks will provide unit wide formative assessment opportunities with multiple choice and free response questions that assess students progress of content and skills for each unit. The class progress dashboard will help teachers identify common misunderstandings and develop targeted supports on a class wide small group or individual student level to differentiate instruction and make adjustments throughout the year as needed. Student progress dashboard empowers students to take ownership of their learning by highlighting areas of growth and areas where they may need additional practice. This is a reminder that each of the aforementioned resources are available via AP Classroom, which can be found at myap.collegeboard.org. Thank you for viewing this brief presentation. APS will be working with the College Board to continuously update you as we progress toward assessments in May. We appreciate your interest and you have our commitment to do our best to support and guide the young people we serve as they endeavor to achieve short and long term academic and social goals. If you have any questions as the year progresses, please reach out to one of my colleagues listed here based on the school your child attends. I thank each of them for helping prepare this presentation and for their endless commitment to the young people we collectively serve. Thank you for your time.